In episode 2, the Saab Neo V7 review, there was one major thing which I thought could have been improved. The type of speaker that they use, not the greatest speaker, it's not incredibly bad, but it could be better. So today, we're going to take out the old speaker, put in a bass speaker, compare the sound quality from old to new, and I'll give you my final thoughts in the end. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello once again to all my Jedi and Sith companions. I am your host, The Frugal Jedi. If this is your first time here, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like, hit that subscribe, tap that bell so you can stay up to date whenever I release new content. I'm gonna be upgrading the speaker in the Sab Neo V7 Warrior lightsaber. The speaker that it comes with is okay, but it could be better. Deja vu? Yeah. This particular speaker costs $10 US with free shipping directly from Damien Saber. I'm going to put a link in the description that'll take you right to the product page. Now be aware that the product page also has the flat speaker. The flat speaker costs $9 US while the base speaker costs $10 US. Is there any reason to buy a flat speaker when you can spend a dollar more and get the base speaker? I can't think of any. Sab Neo, if you're watching, the fact that you put a flat speaker in your lightsaber when the difference in price between flat and base speaker is just so minimal, I'm hoping that in the next version, V8 or whatever you guys decide to call the next lightsaber, you really do put in a base speaker. The sound quality is so much better and I'm going to show you that afterwards. So let's point the camera down at the table and I'll go through everything you need for this upgrade. For this upgrade, you're going to need a heat gun or you can use a hair dryer. The reason is the Sabneo soundboard is hot glued in and this is going to make it a lot easier to take out. You need electrical solder with Rosen core, helping hands and a magnifying glass really helps, the upgraded speaker, the soldering iron, and of course, the Sabneo V7 hilt. The first step is to remove the battery. To remove the battery, the easiest way is to hold the hilt and tap it. I don't recommend tapping the core on the table because you could bend the core. So you just kind of tap it against your hand like that only, to only touching the metal and the battery will fall out. So there are three screws that we have to remove. Two on the front, one on the back. Okay, sometimes you have to push down on the button, but in this case it went down by itself. And now we slide the core out. It wants to roll all over the place and we'll put the hilt off to the side and we'll put the screws somewhere safe as well. Okay. So here's the soundboard and we can see the speaker on the bottom there, that flat speaker. So we're going to remove this bottom screw. like that. And we just pull out the old speaker and there it is. Now I want to solder on the bottom underneath like the original speaker soldered. So I need to lift up the soundboard and because like I said it is hot glued we need to loosen that hot glue. I'm going to turn my heat gun on low 
and I'm going to put a little bit of heat along the edge just to lift up that glue. You don't want to use a lot of heat, you don't need to use a lot of heat. Okay. I don't want to desolder everything because there's no point. I'm just switching the speaker. I have my helping hand set up holding the core and the soundboard in the position I want. So first I'm going to desolder the old speaker. Just untwisting these wires. They used a lot of solder on their soundboard. I'm not even going to have to apply any new solder. Damien Sabre has this connector on the end of their speaker, which Sabneo doesn't use. So I'm going to have to cut that off. And again, I'm going to untwist the wires. Straighten them out a little bit. It doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to use my side cutters and just gently twist. All right, now I have them exposed. Okay, I'll start with the black wire. And the red wire. That's it. That's all it is. I'm just going to check my wires, make sure they can't get pulled out. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the wires together. Just makes it a little easier to put it back into the core if we twist them. It's good enough. Okay, so that's it for that. There's the old speaker. And that nice big new bass speaker. Now it's time to put the soundboard back in and put the speaker in. So we'll need the heat gun one more time to warm up the hot glue. And we'll just push it back down. The hot glue will cool, it'll stick, and we'll slot that speaker into position. Low heat. So the speaker wire, we want to make sure we're going to put it into that little channel right there. piece with the screw now we're going to put it back inside of the hilt so flipping it over going to find that hole line it up
Now let's compare the sound with the new speaker.
I hope you could hear the difference between the old flat speaker, cue the sad trombone, and the new bass speaker, cue the choir. The difference is really noticeable when you hear that sound font with Darth Vader talking, and just the bass and the lows is just more full, rich sound. It's totally worth it. For $10 US, definitely worth getting. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button, hit subscribe, and tap that bell to stay up to date. Until next week, this has been your host, The Frugal Jedi. Thanks for watching.